Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve with Wagstaff. It is day 356. We are in the volcano. It is the middle of dry season. Four days left to the dry season. I have not... I, I regret to say, I have not seen a single eruption. There has not been a single eruption this season. And I'm guessing it's because of, of some Linked Worlds bug. I've never experienced this before and it's frankly disappointing because I was looking to get some of these obsidian boulders cracked. But... That being said, we have done a lot of work this season. Check out the map. Look at this. Something's missing from the map. Well, for the most part, the magna... Magna? Magma tiles. I was about to say magna tiles. No, magma piles. You guys ever played with those magna tiles? They're like magnetic... Yeah, okay. Anyways, the magma piles, we've dug up most of them. These ones hugging the, the lip of the, of the crater, I don't, I'm not sure I can get to them without an ice cube on my head. And I don't really feel like doing it, to be honest. We have so many minerals at this point. We've got rocks, we've got niter. Let me show you what we have. And actually, are we done here? Can I hammer this? I moved the ice box over here because I wanted to have an ice box closer to here. And it's actually super cheap to move the ice box. It only costs one gold to re to redo it to re uh, recraft it because you get the one cut stone and you get the gear back. So you just pop that back into your crafting tab and go. Now, uh, yeah, so I've been I've been keeping most of this stuff inside of a. Inside the slanty shanty in one uh, a number a number of giant piles, but we did it with about three days to spare in the season So I'm happy. I'm happy. We, we had a very productive season I would like to with the time we have left I would like to dig up some turf in here because we will need it for I mean at the least We'll need it for the coffee bushes, right? We need the we need that turf for the coffee bushes But you know what? I really want to see how much we have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the ice box in here. Just for now, just as a placeholder. Or just, just as a place to put it. And let's count up the loot. I want to see how much we actually got from, from this haul. I'm guessing it's, it's going to be rather substantial. Hang on one second. I know I came with a bit of gold and flint, so I'll, I'll, I'll assume I had something like this, but it gives you a good idea of what we have. Okay, flint. 10 stacks of flint, that's 400. 245 niter, 120 gold nuggets, <laughs> 1047 rocks. We should be good at this point on rocks. That should be enough for our stone road turf and for all the townhouses that will eventually go into this city. Very, uh, very lucrative effort. I, I, I should like to say, but at this point, my middle finger is tired from sticking it at dragoons as I'm trying to dig the piles around their, uh, around their huts, but also just spam clicking on right click to, uh, dig, dig, dig as fast as I can. Anyways, awesome haul. Now, I could start to bring this stuff back, but I also want to spend some time around here just digging up turf. And with, yeah, I, I, it looks, I'm, I'm thinking we have maybe two days left I would like to have I would like to have some turf dug up in that time so let's just start yeah let's just start around here all right well uh yeah I spent a couple days digging up a bit of turf we got you can't see it but there is rocky turf down there and I'm ready to start transporting this stuff back now I was thinking about thinking about practical transportation in reality we're gonna turn a lot of this into doodads right so why not do the crafting now and transport them back as doodads? If you think about it, a stack of 10 doodads, that's 20 gold and 10 cut stone all in one inventory spot. So it kind of makes sense to do the crafting now and take them back in the form of doodads. Obviously, I'm not going to do this to all of, uh, to all of the, the stuff, but it's, it's definitely easier it's definitely gonna be yeah gonna make for a few uh, a few uh, a few less trips is what i'm trying to say and it is the top of mild season day 360 now this is strange if shipwrecked is 73 days right so 
So yeah, after five years of shipwrecked, of shipwrecked years, mild season should be on day 366. So something got off somewhere along the line, I'm not totally sure what. Linking World is still glitchy as hell. Anyways, I think I'm gonna craft up like four stacks of doodads. And I'll make the first trip back. One th other thing I definitely want to do while I'm in shipwreck is find Pack'em Baggins. Pack'em Baggins. That's right. That's the correct pronunciation. Uh, Pack'em Baggins, whom I can convert to a fire Pack'em on the full moon, will accelerate the production of coffee in a very significant way because you can put stuff in him and he cooks it automatically, which is pretty nice. Still haven't found him, uh, but I think he the, the fishbone is generally in a swamp somewhere. So first thing I think I want to do is move this stuff back to Hamlet. And then we will set out to find Mr. Packham Baggins. These guys are not doing their job. They're not doing their job. What the hell? What the hell? What is the whole point of having elephant cactus here? Hmm. Okay. Well, fortunately there's a spider queen here. Excellent. How convenient. Please attack them. Thank you so much. Okay, what the hell happened here? Oh, you were all withered. That is, that is unfortunate. Yeah, we're gonna very soon need tons of ash and I'm at a bit of a loss what I will be burning to acquire it. Uh, but let's grab the rest of these crocs before we worry about that. One bridge at a time, Jazzy. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dear. Uh, no. No, thank you. Oh, I was thankful for that spider queen. Hey, you know what? While we're making a trip back to the volcano, I'm gonna make myself a bit of explosive, and I'm curious if I've made any yet. I'm not sure that I have. Oh, I have. I have made some. Well, I got rotten eggs and I got charcoal. I just need niter, which I have niter now in here. Awesome. Yeah, we'll go back and uh, and collect some gunpowder while we're back in the volcano. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more chests. I think I'm just gonna build them now in anticipation. Thing is, I can't, uh, I gotta label these first. So might, yeah, I might have to label some of them first before I put a chest in front of it. Okay. And then we gotta get to work. We gotta get to work making more boards if we're gonna build stuff. Because we're using, we're using a lot of boards and we will be using a lot of boards. Let's head back to Shipwreck for now. Okay, I wanna make a cloth sail while I'm back here. Because the cloth sail in our boat's about to go. What do we need for that? Quite a bit of... Uh, a bit of bamboo. Crap. And each cloth is like... Two... Uh, three bamboo? Something like that. Three bamboo. So we need eight bamboo and two rope. Okay. I think we... Oh yeah, we got plenty of... We got plenty of bamboo around here. If I was a smarty, I would be taking a shovel and bringing these... A little closer to my actual base. But, luckily bamboo regrows rapidly. All right. I, you know, I, I, I haven't actually done a lot of this. I know you can use any sort of explosives to, to bust these guys open. A volcano staff would be ideal. How much do we get from that? Like four pieces of obsidian? I guess. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't spend too much niter and uh, gunpowder on this, but honestly, what else are you going to use gunpowder for? Besides cheesing bosses, which I don't really, I don't like cheesing bosses that all that much. Yeah, might as well use it to blow up boulders. That's fun. That's kind of fun. I just need to be careful to not drop the entire stack of gunpowder. I would not want to do that. Not after all this work. Let's see. Grab that guy and this guy. Wow, we're gonna have like a stack of... Wait a minute. What? Did... Did it all fall into the void? 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did where did that obsidian go? Did I like blow up the wrong boulder? Cause I don't see any from that one. Oops. Yeah, maybe I don't want to blow up the ones next to the edge because they're just gonna fly into the into the void. I don't really want that. One. One obsidian. Oh, two. Still, this seems like a kind of a rotten return. Gunpowder is not cheap. Two pieces of gunpowder. Or two pieces of obsidian. Ugh. Maybe I don't want to be spending too much gunpowder on this. Yeah, maybe it might be worth waiting until we get volcano staffs. So that was five. Seems like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not super, super thrilled about this rate of return. That was the old, the first five I've gotten. That was two. Yeah, I think this is kind of a ripoff. I will, I will get, I will acquire a stack of obsidian. And then I'm saving the rest of the gunpowder. It is fun blowing these guys up. I love me some pyrotechnics. I just, yeah, I think there, are mo there might be more worthwhile things to blow up. Yeah, 39 obsidian. That's good. That's good enough for now. All right, let's make a trip. Let's make a trip with some stuff. And I'm thinking rocks. This might be a rock kind of trip. Yeah. It would be nice to have... You know, you know it would be really nice if the root trunk allowed you to sort of transport items between DLCs. That's definitely not the case, but it would be cool. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, we're leaving the- we're leaving the pitchfork here. Shovel we can leave. Flint. Uh, I'll bring back some niter. Alright, I am putting away what I believe to be the last of all of the- all the stuff from the volcano. And we're gonna need more space, we're gonna need more chests. I'll just throw the excess flint in here for now. I've got still some- Many, many stacks of turf back at the volcano, but I'm not going to worry about that just now. Let's make this weapon. What do we need? Sticks? What do we need sticks for? We we should probably have sticks on us. At all times. Make that cutlass beautiful. And let's see. I can put the bones in here, I suppose. And let's put the turf in the turf room. The ugly, ugly turf room. What does this actually look like? Oh, we have some volcano turf. Look at that. And in these bundles are even more volcano turf. I don't think I brought back any ashy turf so far. So we'll start a new pile for ashy turf. And we got to open up these guys. Because there's so much more turf in there. Whew. Okay. I think at this point... I want to get back to Shipwrecked and find that, uh, find that fish bone. And then we can start working on a coffee farm. Right? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, we'll hop back to, I, I got food, man, I got everything I need, I think. Let's just get back to Shipwrecked and get even more resources. Oh, you know what? I do want to make a, uh, I do want to make another Another speck. Another specs. Let's do that. Cool. I'll bring the gold with me just in case. And I think we're good. I also still need to find that other doi doi. So I'm hoping to... Wait a minute. Oh yeah, okay. I did bring the eyebrella back. I have everything I need. Let's get back there. I'm also going to bring rope and boards just in case we need to make another another rowboat well that's another thing i want to i want to make uh is a armored boat which requires seashells so we should grab some seashells while we're out as well works for me you know i've left you alone for the most part dude and can we keep it that way please i really oh go away man you can't get me from there. You can't. <laughs> Alright. Alright, yeah, you can just watch me as I do my thing over here. 
Are we on the right boat? Yeah. So I'm going to hammer this one. You can watch as much as you want, but you cannot reach me. And I am totally okay with that. Let's make another rowboat, and we'll be on our way. Let's see. All right, let's start with let's start with the swamps we have found and map those out to see if uh, the fish bone was on any of those. I'm hoping it's on one of those, because then I wouldn't have to find any new islands. Oh, I bone, where are ye? I do not see ye. Anything else of interest on this island? Not really. Oh, it's kind of a small swamp. Bros, no bros. Aha! I knew it. Oh look, a piece, a ring piece. Is that it? Oh, crap. <laughs> you got me. That was good. That was a good one. You got me good. Ugh. Oh, it looks like there is more. There's more swamp on this one. Come okay, on, where is the... Man. No eye bone. No eye bone in sight. And there's a lot of these swamp biomes. I've already seen them on like four or five different islands. I'm really hoping... Yeah, I don't know why those puddles are still spreading. Oh, these are just the puddles that come in beach turf uh, at night. This isn't... Yeah, no, but that's... That's a puddle. That's not water. That's not ocean. Yeah, I don't get what's going on there. Oh, hell with it. We'll just get a little bit wet. Let's push on. Let's push on while we can. Alright, here's another swamp. I did not check out the inside part of it, so maybe there's the fish bone I missed somewhere? Oh, you. You're kind of freaking out. I'm not sure why. Alright, moving on. Come on, fish bone! Oh man, these specs are really nice to have in the swamp. Not only do they show uh, poisonous holes, but they also show where those little flops are hiding. Hiding out. Don't worry, dude. I'm not here for your hut. I don't want it. I don't want to get poisoned. I just want the fish bone. I want it. Are you you gonna you gonna go for it? Ooh. Kill. I'll take it. Thank you. I've never actually seen the red guys. I mean, I know I know it's just the red guys that fish. But do they attack you? I've never actually been attacked by one of them. I've only been attacked by the green dudes. They're like the They're like the guardians. Let's see. We got at least two other islands with swamps on them. Tidal Marsh, I guess they're called. All right, let's check out this one. Mm, definitely not on this one. Oh, and it's a small island too. All right, there's one more island to check out and it's over there. <laughs> I really hope it's on that one. Because if not, we gotta go explore some more. Yay. Oh, I love Shipwrecked. I love the, the day cycle. During mild season, you get so much day. Look at that. You get like two, yeah, just just two slots of dusk, two slots of night, and the rest is just daylight. So much time to explore and do activities. We're coming up on the last island. I've really got my fingers crossed that uh, that we will find a little little fish bone on it. Oh yeah, this is the island that we uh, that we came to came to shipwrecked on and it looks like a rather small swamp with killer bees <laughs> no dice fishbone's not here it's got to be on another island then we checked that one that one that one and the oh wait you can't see my mouse so I'm not gonna point to it. it doesn't seem like a fully explored no I fully explored that one because that's where the ring thing is was so it must be on another island 
And there's plenty of lands that, yeah, there's plenty of area that I haven't mapped out yet, so it must be on a different island. I'll, yeah, I'll probably take the time. Now, as long as we're in mild season, I would like to find that fishbone, so... Yeah, I will, I will spend time finding it before heading back to, uh, actually, actually build with all the things that we've, uh, been spending time acquiring in this DLC. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.